Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to download your Power Query data automatically and uh, if you are watching this video I imagine that you already know what to do with it but if you don't, don't worry because I will be showing you some really nice use cases in uh, coming videos. So let's start. To be able to uh, do this trick, uh, you need to have R installed. And on the previous video, I have shown you how to do that. I have a, a link of the video on the description box, so make sure you check it out if you don't have it. It is very, very easy, so don't worry about that. But besides what we did on the previous video, uh, you need to install a few more packages to get this uh, working. So you have to open RStudio and you have to install a package called gdata. If you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure you check out the how to install R in Power BI, okay? Then you will be able to follow this tutorial. So we need to install that package and we need to install also something called Strawberry Pearl. Here is uh, the site where you will find uh, this and you have to go into check which uh, system you have, uh, have Windows and this is the one that you want, Strawberry Pearl, okay? So you download it and install it. I have already downloaded so let's proceed with the install. Here we have the Strawberry Pearl so we click on it, run. Welcome to the install. I accept strawberry. Click install and now the installation will begin. So we don't need that. Finish. And uh, that's all. Now we can go back to Power BI. I have a talk about the BI accountant before. Uh, she is uh, really, really good in Power Query and Power BI. And uh, I really recommend you to follow her because she has like really nice tutorials and uh, this is one of the things she is explaining here how to do. So make sure you visit her site, I will post a link to that and uh, you subscribe to her um, and make sure you thank her also for the post because uh, we're going to do really nice things uh, with this methodology that she explains here. Here we are now again back in Power BI and uh, we are going to do a very simple table. So now the table is loaded and we have actually two options. We could run the R script in here, but I want to do it in Power Query. I don't even want to go into the editor and do that. So here on the, I think this was an August update, so make sure you have that. Here we have something called run our script, okay? So this is give us a possibility to run our own Power Query. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to click on there. And now we're going to write this script. This is a function write table and then we're going to add our file. And then here are some parameters. To understand how this script works uh, and to make sure you give some credit to the author, I'm going to post a link so you can understand what these things are and also what other things you can do. Uh, 
uh, this code I will put on the description box and you can just copy paste without downloading the file so don't worry about that but what it does is it says okay write this is the uh, um, extension to the file this is the name of the file and uh, we run it and in, if everything goes well this is what you will see like the t <laughs> empty but if we go to where the file is stored and look at it. So here we have the file that was created. And if we open it, we can see um, the data that has been downloaded. So let's do it again. We go up here, we go to the source, let's add a new name. Uh, Mario something like that okay now let's run the script again and check it out so here we are again we open the file and here we have the fourth row so it works really really nice there are many uses for these. Uh, I will show you a few on uh, coming videos, but I'm sure that you already figured out a few for yourself too. This is all for today. If you liked the video, let me know by liking it. And if you have any comments, questions or suggestions, you can uh, contact me using the comment box or any of the social channels. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.